a better sugar saga means forever. Falling in love with narcissism all over again. Oh, dude, think about this. Think about this. Say you're you're a depressed person, right? You you really think that nothing matters and or you, you're just sad because you know you're not you know able to live up to whatever. Maybe it's because you're not you're not good with the women or you know you're not able to, you know, say you failed somehow. Like you didn't get you f you flunked out of college or someone passed away or like like all these different reasons that can just build up and pile up and just ruin your fucking life because you just look at all of these things that are wrong with you. But, you know, it's just like, you know, most of the time people want to achieve perfection. So you look at all the little things and then you pile up all these reasons. But it's like, you know, in reality, you know, if you're a healthy person. But, you know, but that's another thing, too, is some people have like health problems, like real shit going on. And, you know, that doesn't like how are you supposed to be happy if you have something so serious wrong with you? You know, but, you know, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I guess, um, <clears throat> you know, it's up to you to try to be happy on your own and stuff. And, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to fucking just help people be happy, I guess. I, I don't know. I guess that might be. But think about this. If you if you're so sad about something and then. There was another side to you, though, this narcissistic, cystic piece of shit side that was able to get attention in ways or or do things in a, in a particular way that was better for you. And I'm not even saying like an actor or an online personality. I'm saying like maybe you just kind of flipped the script and became a greedy bastard and then, you know, you just, that was your thing, you know? <clears throat> and, uh, but that saved you from the other side. But maybe you're not really necessarily a bad person. Because like, there's a lot of people like you like, hey, that guy's fucking narcissistic, but they actually do got their priorities in check. Like, it's almost like you're acting like a like a toxic piece of shit, but you're just, like, doing it just right. So it's like, hey, man, call me out because I'm a decent guy. Like, fuck this. Like, I didn't go, like, full-blown narcissistic piece of shit, fending everybody in every way possible, fucking just doing the shittiest, shitty of shitty, shitty of shit, the shittiest of shit statements. So I don't know. It's weird to think of it like that. Like, some people... Their narcissism saves them. But, you know, people just label things narcissistic now. That's, 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 that's like, hey, maybe he's just being a guy. So, 